Yo, what up, guys? Beside you here with an update for the Noob to Pro. This is day 25, yes, and we've been going strong on the daily basis. Not giving you daily updates, but just grinding in the background, waiting for something huge to happen before I come on here and give an update. So, here's the update video we've been waiting for. So, this is day 25, and we're looking forward to getting this epic skill tone because we are gathering resources for the next upcoming content. Whether it's CBC or whether it's Fusion, we're getting our champions ready to beat Dungeon 25. All dungeons 25 and also beat the faction war get lydia that's what this series is all about so if you're not subscribed yet go ahead so you can come in for the ride because this will not end this series will not end until we get our lydia 25 is easy to obtain i guess but that lydia is going to be a long grind a lot of champions to take to 60 faction war basically for all faction has to be done and that will be the 2023 way of beating faction wars if you're not done yet if you don't got your lydia yet buckle up let's go so if you don't know the first update i'm giving you guys is that to help me beat a little bit of content or even prepare more for that faction i did do a referral program refer dude create three accounts and i was trying to get this dude from the barbarian faction it's not a difficult faction but i just wanted to get it ready for spider or any other content where we had to farm for long he's an awesome champion we already know that since i don't have a ninja i'll get to chronam so to get me closer to that mark i did create this three accounts and one of the accounts the one i'm playing on right now managed to hit level 40 and get us two epic skill tomes right here amazing so we already got a void chart from there so i don't know if i should push these other ones to 40 i don't think i can make it but i want to make this one 50 first before i focus on the second and the third one so that's how i'm going Two epic skill tome and one legendary um one um secret shots coming up right here when we hit 50 so that's the ref account going strong and playing one at a time so that's one of the ways we are trying to <laughs> cheat the system if you want to call it that the first update i want to let you guys know the hottest topic right now in raid is this part of vengeance that is running for an entire six days at one week i think currently five days left on the clock and the noob to pro did say we're gonna try our best to obtain rewards right here the most newbie new player friendly reward or new player the reward you want most as a as a new player as my account going for up to 25 days this is the most valuable resource right here now if i can make up to this nine point nine thousand points to even get this five star riot chicken i guess i'll have to settle for the epic skill tome or this ancient shard that's originally what i talked about in my plan when i revealed this heroes part event in my main account so i talked about the noob to pros um, plan i do be to get this epic skill tome if we can push further this is what I we are looking forward to getting this is this is going to be huge if you do not know this is going to boost your damage a lot especially against pve content bosses dungeons everywhere you're going to use attack as a player he's going to he already is a crazy champion on his own now imagine adding that two star perfect so you won't get this two path star perfect so even if you've been farming the iron twins fortress right it's hard to get this perfect soul so as a newer player check out how many um and this thing i have right there 11 i'm definitely not buying if you can get up to 20 if i get 20 i can buy a one star so when can i get up to 40 and buy anything from here it's always been impossible so when i saw that i was like definitely that's worth getting so if you can get that two star perfect so if you play in a month or two what do you have to do to get it that's what you're wondering right the old school way i think i've seen a lot of videos today talking about the new the way a newer player should probably go about doing it is to begin to level everything you have in your inventory to four and eight eight if you want to keep it four if you want to sell it i probably want to even something i want to sell i might move it to eight before i sell it that's talking about five star gear maybe for four star gear you can also see some point how can that help towards helping you get some points towards this let me go to right here and to show you an example i've been farming the what do you call it now brutal 12 3 right and we always sell this on auto auto sell because we use rs helper to farm but right now i turned off rs helper auto sell and i'm beginning to keep a lot of bit, a little bit of it see if i can upgrade to four gets only where is it five co coins that's what i'm trying to do get five coins before i sell this so that's for sale do the same thing right here a little, a little bit of points remember we're trying to get a total of how many points do you need to get that two star Nineteen thousand seven hundred fifty. that's a lot of points i don't think i can do that on my main account i've already achieved um 
about 20,000 points. That's easy by taking some gear to 16. But we don't have enough silver to take anything to 16. Well, we can take one or two, but that's up. So the best way for you to help yourself hit that goal of even the epic skill tome is by taking gear to 4 and 8 on your account. If you can take some gear to 16, that's even better. But I will hold off on that until to see the final point. You can see I've not even spent my um, key. That's another thing to note. You don't have to unlock any part right now. Gather all your coins. You can see my point right here. I'm gathering all my points. 3,806.62 right now. Gather all your points until when the event has one more day to go. Then you can decide based on how many um, points you've gathered so far. Can you reach the epic skill tome or can you go all the way down to this place? Or will a different path be better for you? <laughs> if you, Let's say I don't have any points. I managed to be at 800 points. I might just come in here and pick this... Um, gems there's no need to now spend 800 points right here and only get this you see so don't spend your points right now until you see the event ends and then you see how many um points you have that's also something to note right there so the two stars what the um new to pro will be aiming to get but can we actually achieve it i do not know if we want to actually achieve it that means we'll start we'll need to start farming some dungeons go to the dragon go to the spider and start actually putting a little bit of dungeon diver points and also get some new five star gear to take to four and eight so do you think it's time for the new to pro to start farming dungeons because dragon can actually beat at level 25 and maybe that's something we might want to take a look at and farm instead of doing campaign 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 maybe it's time for us to go over there start adding some dungeon diverse points and some new gear to take to four and eight let me know what you think about this one because i really know that we can get to the epic skill tone but that's that um attack perfect soul i don't know if we can do it that will require us to spend some gems yes i've not been spending any gems i've been saving because that's one of the fusion preps we don't know how the next fusion coming up will be whether it's something the new people can achieve whether it's something that will be good enough for us to go for or something we should skip so i'm trying to save us some resources in terms of resources that gems is one of the big things that will determine whether i can complete the fusion or not i'm also not taking any champions and what do you call this thing now um bruise i'm not no what do you call it ascensions i'm not ascending any champions right now even all these new champions who got that need ascension you can see everybody's looking for ascension i did not ascend them i'm keeping my um potions right now whether it's the akin potions or the magic i don't know whether the new fusion the next one that has not yet been announced it will be a fragment fusion and which um potion we will need I don't need to go farm it. I'm hoping I'll have enough by then. <laughs> so I'm hoping to keep all this until then. This is not the day or the week to even give any of these ascensions to any champion. Don't spend it right now, especially if you're low on those potions. So for epics, for books, epics and um, let goes, I'm keeping this for the next CVC. There is no CVC this Tuesday. That means the next CVC will, or the next Tuesday will be CVC, next week Tuesday. Another thing that I'm also saving in terms of resources is shards. Now, for shards, now we have ancients saved up, four void shards saved up, but a 2x on void is coming up in two days' time. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have a 2x on void coming up. We are very, very tempted to see if we can get our cold heart or an amazing game changing legendary or epic. That's very tempting. But if we are so focused on the fusion, we'll have to skip out on that. <laughs> We have to skip that on that 2x on void. So I don't know if that's something the noob to pro should do. Skip out on this 2x on void. Not get our cold heart. Not get um Euro Grim, Man Eater. Because yes, we can build on killable. Demeter. There are many champions I'm looking forward to. I know four void shards is just too little shards to even be hoping for all these champions I'm calling. But hey, we can only hope and be hopeful and see if we can get our clan boss down fast with all those amazing void epic champions or rare i'm looking forward to it but i've not decided yet what i want to pull maybe by friday we'll decide maybe by then we'll know something about the fusion i'm not sure all right that's the noob to pro update for about resources we've gathered so far for you can see for um all the farming we've done i got about 10 million silver but by the time i took all this gear to four and eight every gear right here have been taken to four and eight and some have been sold i'll have to level up more of them i just look into things to keep and things to sell and i did get some relentless set from some 
champion training yet because of all the champion training we did take second place in that champion training tournament and we got some relentless set out of it did i get any speed ones i don't think i got anything for speed boots but then i get and i got an amazing one this is amazing for amiga i think i got one that was giving me double speed or something yeah i got this one 14 speed right here and there's something else i got that was giving me crazy speed and i was like wow was it over here on the speed side here this is giving me single speed and give me give me double speed oh no no but we'll roll it one more time to see nothing on that end i think that's it i just wanted to show you the new to pro has not farmed the dragon that's why we are so low on gear 250 gear after i sell this one it's going to be less than that number but i'm not going to take the three star to four and eight or anything i'm going to take all of the four star the five star because let's check the point system again to see if four star can help us get some points rank four gear where is it rank four gear taking it to eight gives you seven point taking it to four gives you two points that's not what that's not what it's so i'll be doing only rank five gear to four before i sell it to take it to eight that's too much silver that i don't have all right hopefully we can build one or two champions by the end of this i'm not doing it right now i'm just seeing how much silver we can gather because you can see our new champions we obtained are still no gear on them i just wanted to see which champion we will need to rebuild and no gear okay i did slap some gear over here this already has some gear so he doesn't have gear yet our newest legendary champion no book no gear attack is still getting all the attention and attack is still getting all the attention in terms of um blessings or ascensions that we'll have to unlock for him hopefully that's all the new people have been up to there's one more i need to let you guys know what have been doing in terms of the champion um training well not champion training basically food we are making food right for all these champions if i head over right here and show you this champion food we've gathered so far you can see count how many food do we have there how many five star food do we have there one two three four five that's one champion to 60 and one two three four one more to get another champion to 60 so i'm not doing it right now i'm not taking um corridian to 60 i'm not taking this other champion or legendary champion to 60 yet i'm waiting for a champion training to come up before i do that so that i can put some food into this our uh, five star food right before i make them a food for jintoro so that's what i'm waiting for that's why i'm not taking to 60 you can't just take any champion to 60 in the middle of the week you have to wait for champion training that's the smart way to go about it even if he champion training um, champion um, artifact enhancement is going on where you can get some gear right now i'll get that one done maybe i can showcase our beginner jintoro build <laughs> in another video maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow if you can have some relatively new content to post for you guys all right i've missed out on two days or so of no no updates because of champion training is the only thing that i've been doing that's why i just hopped on here to tell you what the Nutu pro has been up to we are still pushing forward our referral program we are still doing our champion training like a crazy person just looking for five star food five star food five star food for our amazing champions we have so far in the in the game that needs to be taken to six star to bring out the best out of them including um ugo right 60 60 so you guys did leave a feedback and i think these are the two champions i'm taking to 60 next and maybe before maybe we'll get something more more crazier by the time um this thing comes around now there's something i've not talked about since the time we've been playing is the champions for razen since i've not opened a lot of ancient shards anymore razen yes is a fusion that we'll probably get for champion chase or something but i just wanted to take a look at the progress so far it's not looking nice it's not looking good i know some are farmable right the farmable ones i got because of all the champion training i was doing or in campaign but these ones that are non-farmable they have not been dropping still no apothecary day 25 no apothecary and we've been opening a lot of mysteries yes i've been opening temple 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 but still no apothecary we will get him in this video before i end this nope <laughs> not today not yet and one more right here to see if we can get this nope no apothecary he's one champion i'm really really look, looking forward to that will help us in that faction for high elves now before i end this video i'll go ahead, go ahead and open this one soul stone we got from an event or a tournament i think 
100 points only? Nothing. And then I still have one more. Do, do I have anything on my wish list? Yes, I do have. There's one more I needed to open. Do we buy this? Since we need points right now. We need points, right? This is what we need, points. If you don't spend it here, you have to spend it over here. And it's... Hold up. <laughs> if you find attack in the market, maybe... I didn't know I have this much saved up so far. I didn't know I have this much saved up. So it's either you spend it right here when you see somebody in the market that you need to buy from. Right now, there's nobody in the market that I have on my account. Or we spend it right here to get... Remember, we need 19,000 points. Let's just do it. 19,000 points is what we're looking for. And this will give us 1,500 points, right? Where is it? So someone. Immortal Soul Stone, the first one. Do we have everybody in our wish list before we do it? No other legendaries? Yes. Now, what if I get a two-star soul for attack and I'll be like, damn. Please, one of the epics or the, at least even for kill, I'll take it. Something, something that I have at least 1,500 points right here. And it's an epic that I don't have. Luthia. I wish it was for somebody I have or somebody I wished for. But no. I'm not gonna get it right now so this is all we have right now i can sell this one comfortably and i can sell this one comfortably knowing that i will never build those two champions on this account i will hold on to one maiden when we get our user in faction war one star right here let's sell do we have enough for anything again definitely not all right that's this new to pro update on day 25 right i guess i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe before we go though i have something special for you guys yes this is the end of the month and you all know we already have a monthly gem giveaway. Yes, it's time for that monthly gem giveaway. All you have to do, go to the comments in this video. I save it for the last part and comment noob to pro hashtag noob to pro. That's how you have to drop in the comments. You can include any other comment, but include hashtag noob to pro. If you've dropped your UM code in a previous video, there's no need to add your UM code to that comment. Where you've never commented your UM code in the channel. You can either drop it with your comments. If it gets hidden, you can always drop it on Discord. Come over to Discord, drop your UM code in that comment so I can know it's you, right? If you win. What are you winning? 540 gems and one ancient shard. It's coming to five winners. 540 gems and one ancient shard. It's coming to five winners. I repeat it <laughs> because it's a lot. The new people need that resources, but hey, it's coming to you guys. Not directly from me, but from Plarium. Yes, Raid is doing some things nice. Content creator giveaways every month. Make sure you subscribe. You cannot win these giveaways if you're not subscribed to the channel. You will not know when I announce it. It's not in the title of this video. It's sometimes in the Noob to Pro update, sometimes in the live stream. But this time, Noob to Pro is back. So it's time for us to start doing that hashtag Noob to Pro in the comments right now and be one of the five winners that will get it. Winners will be picked. Would it live? I'll do it live. I can do it live tomorrow morning. Give out the winners live on a live video, either on um, tic not TikTok maybe on twitch or on youtube live and see which five winners get it through a random name pool or something so make sure you go over there only 24 hours you have and yeah let me know what the noob pro else can do to improve all this grind that we've been doing should i start going to the dragon that's the feedback i'm looking forward or should i remain in the campaign getting the five star um shield taking them to um fourth four star and then just selling them because of that's what we need to do to get a little bit of points in this ongoing part of vengeance event the biggest thing happening in raid right now 5400 points we are getting closer like and subscribe later guys